Do you know what I mean? Can you play that without making that face? Definitely not. Smile and play, go. Today mm. is a Gibson day. G day. G day. Yeah, G day is a Um day. And we're looking at some of the new Gibsons. We are. Very exciting ones for me, actually. These guitars are really cool. Uh, if you're going to use my plectrums, please don't Sorry, leave them on the floor. It fell off. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the Gibson day. Very exciting day for us. Um, this is the first time uh, that we're actually managing to sit down, chill, and have these brand new uh, Gibson models in our hands. Yeah, and more importantly, what we're doing today is we are comparing the more important than that the new uh, the new ones against the old. 2019 one. This isn't, a, this, isn't a, this isn't a versus. The one thing I want to make sure that you don't understand, this is not a versus. No. This is, we're basically telling you what you get now and what you used to get. Yeah, and, just and to look at the just differences. The, 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 yeah, the differences between it. Because a lot of people have been asking, what are the differences? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, obviously, now they're headed up by JC. Yeah, rock and roll. Who is like the quintessential American hero. So the only reason that I, I busted out the Levi's shirt just for JC. He's not going to Because he used to run Levi's. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, man. So that's and why he's a true American vet. And he definitely must ride a motorbike as well. I hope he does. I pray to God that he rides a motorbike. <laughs> In his Levi's, just yeah. rocking up with a guitar on his back. Yeah, Gibson acoustic strapped on with a piece and of he looks like, like, um, wire. He looks like that dude from The Walking Dead. He does. He does look a little bit like... Who is it? Rick Grimes. No, the other one. The bad one with the bat. Oh, mate. Negan. Oh, Negan. Negan. He looks Negan. like Negan, yeah. <laughs> Which makes him even cooler. Makes him way cooler than Rick, because in the TV show, Rick's a little baby. Come off my hand, please. <laughs> oh, my son's gone. Please, Dad. Look at me. Negan. Where Negan's just like, get off my property. Smash! <laughs> oh, a little squeal there. Yeah. Um, obviously, yes, yeah, so it gives us now head up by him, and... Everyone's delighted about this. And what Gibson, are you agreeing or was that a No, a no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. I'm just kind of over the moon about... Because Gibson have gone back to, and this is the whole thing, isn't it? Gibson have gone back to what everyone loves, which is... Rock and roll. Rock and roll, just yeah. great, great built yeah. old school guitars. Well, the thing is, personally, it just felt like Gibson were resting on their laurels a little bit for On me. their laurels? Yeah. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> I th I th I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly then. Uh, where, pardon? I think so. Yeah, it's basically that, that, that I personally felt as if they were resting on the, the Gibson brand, the name. Yeah. Well, that's where they started going and making it. I mean, they didn't go to NAMM, was it 2018? Yeah, they, they were go. definitely not there. They were definitely Because they're there. too busy doing their tech stuff. Yeah, the fridges and such. Yeah, anyway, but so there was, there was for, for, for I think a lot, of, a lot of people, if we're being honest, Gibson kind of had a dip, right? And now yeah. they're, they've they've come back and I think everyone's kind of on the same page in that they've, they've nailed it. They've come back in such an insane force or like show of commitment to the yeah. fans, basically, yeah. personally, I think, because they've, they've... They've listened. They've really, really listened. I mean, have they listened or have they just hired someone that, like, said to Gibson what everybody else was saying, but yeah. he's just got the balls to do it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, but they've, it's such a show of force, like, okay, so the guitars that we're taking a look today are the standard models. They've got rid of the year-specific things in terms of not year-specific as in like a 61 SG or something like that. They've gotten rid of just the year, like 2019 Les Pauls or 2018 Les Pauls and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It's just the standard range. It's not a year 
guitar. It's this is what the guitar is going to be. This is what the standard Les Paul will be. This is the price point it sits at, two grand. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, just to repeat, I think it's important to, it is important to get that across that they've got rid of year specific guitars. Yeah. And now you've just got original collection. Yeah. And modern collection. Yeah, you've got right? you've got some just other the bit, yeah, there's some bits and pieces that are scattered around that you kind of need to look into um, because there's certain specification changes, there are certain um, uh, guitars that come with hard cases, certain guitars that come with the soft bags yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. those soft bags, if you've seen them are insane premium quality, yeah. the, the brown ones yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, lining yeah. and stuff. I'd be happy to move around with one of those. Anyway, Indeed. so today we're looking at the 50s and 60s Les Paul standards. And we're going to compare it against the 2019, 2019 standard. Which was what which is just the normal standard was. Yeah. Um, so first off... So how do you want to do it? So the way that I want to do it, before we get into playing, I want to just talk about these first. Um, and then we can kind of... I can kind of dip in and out of the standard that sits behind us. Okay. First thing I want to talk about is yeah, yeah. First thing I want to talk about is price point. So, brand new Gibson Les Paul standards. They come in a, a few colours. I'm not talking a wide, wide range of colours. I'm talking there's a select few colours. They're the good ones. The They're authentic. The, the authentic good ones. American hero ones. American hero, born in the USA. So, this is the gold top. Yep. Standard. This is the fat 50s one, so this is a big, it's got a chunky 50s neck on there, um, and this is the 50s gold top. The one that you have there is the 60s iced tea finish. Yep. They also do it in a tobacco burst, they do it in Harry Cherry, yep. good old Harry Cherry sunburst as well. Um, so there's a few different colours that you can choose from. So, 50s, appointments, mahogany body, it's not weight relieved, it's a solid mahogany body. Uh, maple top. Uh, standard Gibson LP Vibes, two volumes, two tones, uh, three-way selector switch, uh, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard, 22 frets, 50s profile neck, so it is a little bit chunkier. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that you need to come and feel for yourself um, to kind of show how chunky the actual guitar profile is. Um, but it's comfortable for a guy, this is kind of like, for a guy with relatively small hands, this is still really comfortable and easy to play. Um, and then you've got the Gibson Deluxe Clueson style tuners on the back there as mm -hmm. well. Vintage appointments. Um, it's a Les Paul. Do you know what I mean? It's a Les Paul at the end of the day. Um, it, there's nothing funny or strange or it's just a solid different about it. It's just a solid, made in the USA Les Paul. 60s Les Paul, apart from the, the so exact... Before you go on, what pickups is this well, This is what I was going to say. They're okay. exactly the same, apart from two things. Pickups. These are the Burst Buckle 1 and 2s, they're Alnico 2s, yeah. I believe it was Alnico 2 or 3, I can't remember. They're one or the other, but they're um, very low output pickups. Alnico yeah. 1 and 2s? Uh, no, 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 it's Burst Buckle 1 and 2s, oh, but the Alnico Magnets 2s, Alnico 2s. Um, so it's a low output pickup. Yeah. And the whole point of this, uh, this guitar, and especially the ones in the 50s, if you've played one, or from what I know, I've played one, but I've played it in a very, very loud, big stage environment. So I couldn't really grasp yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. what the pickups are supposed to sound like because the amps were cranked on 10. There was purflings. You could probably see who's 59 Les Paul I'm talking about here. But there was plastic purflings, huge rig, everything on 10. And, you know, you can't really make out pickup output in that situation. Yeah, because of course. Everything almost sounds the same. Yeah. Um, uh, but the the 50s, they're supposed to be like, you know, they are PAS, but they're very low output, so they're like really fat single chords, like really fat P90s. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially in the neck pickup. The neck pickup um, sounds killer on a clean sound. The 60s is a, is a much hotter pickup. Uh, these are the Burst Bucker 61s. Uh, they're on Nico 5s. Uh, mm -hmm. magnet so you can kind of assume just off of the way n sort of numerics works um, that it's either going to be lower or hotter depending on which way direction you go if you go higher then I can only assume that it's going to be hotter when you're judging by pickups yep. but in this case it is so an Alnico 5 magnet so it's a lot more output on those it's a lot more grunt to it um, staff here are kind of split amongst themselves really whether they like the much lower output pickups and the chunkier neck or they like the slimmer profile neck and the hotter output pickups um let's so, compare it to the standard that we have behind us 
Um, this is a 2019 Les Paul Standard in Trans Amber. Came in a multitude of different colours. Some very interesting ones. Some well. very interesting colours. Okay, so uh, the neck on this is like an asymmetrical neck. Um, it's thicker on the base side than it is on the thinner side. Okay, so it's like automatically we've got a modern profile neck. You've got your three-way selector switch. There was no cover. There's no rhythm or treble cover there. Um, every single knob does something, right? Wasn't there like an, an unimaginable amount of different configurations you'd have together? So the only way that I can think of getting through it relatively quickly in terms of what uh, I know that they did, uh, if you're in the bridge or the neck position, you could coil tap it, right? So you could get your single call tones. Um, there's a blower switch, which I believe is one of these back ones here, which roots the bridge pickup or roots whatever pickup you are on, I believe it's the bridge pickup, directly to the output. Okay, so because it roots it, I'm just going to flip that over. Um, because it roots it uh, straight to the output, um, you're not you're bypassing all of the controls. Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing that I believe it does is the reverse wound selection if you're in the middle setting. So if you're in the middle, you can get that reverse polarity thing, which is like uh, the Peter Green Les Paul, so yeah. free and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, weight relieved mahogany body, so it's lighter. It is a lot lighter. Yeah. Uh, you've got your standard flame maple top, which these do as well, as you can see there. Um, you've got flame maple top on that. Uh, Rose and fretboard. Uh, difference with the tuners as well. It's got locking tuners on this model. Um, if you flip it round up there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got locking tuners on this guitar as well, which they've done away with on these standards. Um, so there's quite, you know, there's I mean, quite the This change. will suit some people. So this is where it goes from here. Right, which we will get into at another point because we'll check them out when we've got them. But they've also done, if you want a Les Paul that has got all of this coil tapping stuff on it. it, they still do it on uh, a model they're calling the Modern. Yeah. So there's the standard, the original series stuff, and then there's the Les Paul Modern. Which is um, in the Modern collection. Which is in the Modern collection, which has, you know, the locking tuners, the, the coil taps. I don't know what pickups they are. These are Burst Bucket Pros, and I don't know what they've put in the modern Les Paul. Uh, but if you want all the coil tapping and stuff, then you just get a modern. Yeah. I don't know what the price point is either. I can't remember. I believe it's just a little bit more expensive than 2000 Because this guitar, when it was 2019, sits at £2,800. This guitar is £800 more affordable than the 2019 range with all the yeah. coil tapping and stuff. It's interesting. It is very interesting. Um, but I'm super stoked. I'm super happy that they've done this because this was the, the only Les Paul that they were doing in 2019 that was closest to what they've released as the standard now was the traditional. Yeah. Uh, the traditional model was a non-weight relieved, relatively chunky neck profile Les Paul. Yeah. So it was basically... You know, and so the, the traditional is not in the new original collection? No traditionals. Yeah. It's because they're this is all the standard, traditional. Because they're all traditional. Yeah. Very cool. So should we have a play? Listen to them. Yeah, I think that's probably the best option. You heard me and Mark jamming, jamming away. But um, I kind of want to hear. I want you. I want you to hear them in isolation. Yeah. Not you, alien isolation. You uh, okay. let me turn this Great. off. So what's the uh, the fret the radius? <laughs> the fretboard radius on this guitar is twelve. Okay. 12 inch. And it's 24.75. Yeah, standard yeah. Gibson scale length. Cool. As it's as, as always me. Rock my socks off. All right, I'm not going to, but all right. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is the bridge pickup. Um, I'll bring in the volume because the amp is pretty... The, the amp is running pretty warm, pretty hot, pretty salsa. Uh, so I'll show you the sort of dynamics of these low output pickups, which I love. Gives this sort of hollow effect. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a late night last night. Oh, did you? That's what I started Game of Thrones. Okay, quick, Mate. play that fucking okay. music. Okay, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
lovely playing. Thanks, mate. Yeah, enjoyed that. Good. Um, it sounds rocking. Oh man, it sounds hot pockets. It's hot really, pockets. really cool. Um, sometimes you think, is it the guitar or is it the amp? But what amp you got? That's a Messaboogie Lone Star geese. Yeah, it's boy. Um, but the low output pickups, the the amount of dynamic range you can achieve. That bridge pickup is what gets me really, really quaking in my boots because that going from this. That hollow sound, even mm. though it's a solid guitar, low output pickups have that hollow mm. characteristic to me. To having. That's where it's at for me. Midi. But we'll try the, you know, I'll plug in the 60s yep. next, and you can hear the difference between the two there. So we switched over and we've you've got the 60s. I have. Ice T. Yeah, this is the 60s Les Paul Standard in Ice T. Uh, not that ticket, that ticket. Same price. And what did you just notice that this, we didn't mention earlier? The tuners. The tuners are Grovers, big old yeah. chunkers. And what was on the old? Um... Uh, Clusen style vintage style ones. Clusen style vintage style ones. And what's on the? Oh, they're locking tuners. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get off it, mate. So we heard that one, which sounded beastly. JC for president. Beastly. Don't know if that's something that's bad to say. I don't know anymore. So these are the higher output pickups? Yeah, these are our Nico 5s. Um, as soon as I plugged it in and strummed an A chord, brighter, more aggressive, a lot more gain coming out of the amplifier now as well. Yeah. Net profile is a lot slimmer. Yeah. It is a lot slimmer. Um, I can only assume that it's still a 12 inch uh, radius on the fretboard. They're not gonna change much about that. It's just the, the, the how the neck feels. Um, if you want, if you want the sound that you'd get from that guitar, um, but with the playability of something a little bit more modern, like the 60s Les Paul, then this is the one to go for out of the standard range. Um, you can always, you know, buy those pickups aftermarket if you really like the lower output pickups, because you can buy Gibson pickups. Yep. Um, these sound really cool. I just prefer having a way lower output pickup. Cool. So he here's the bridge. Um, once again, I'll... Uh, be a bit more dynamic, uh, just like I was on the 50s, um, and you can kind of hear the characteristics of the pickup, hopefully. So I think you're right. I think it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um... How many people are out there? Is there a crowd out there? <laughs> Jeez. It's the bustling guitar shop. All right. Uh, yeah. No, as like you were saying, I think you know it, the higher up, but it, it just doesn't have as much. The, the, for some, I mean, it has. It still has. It has the. It has the. <laughs> It 
has that uh, aggressive. Which, that has, it's hard to explain without, I'm hoping that it captures it in person, um, obviously, over, hapsi, 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 I'm hoping it captures it via the microphone, but even though they're lower output, there's something really woolly and um, warm and all encompassing about that pickup. Whereas on this, because it's a more aggressive, higher output pickup, it's a brighter tonality. It's definitely more. <laughs> Can you play that without making that face? Definitely not. Smile and play, go. It's only because so many people mention your faces, I thought. Yeah, but I, I don't care because take the mickey out of me all you want. No, own it, mate. Okay, cool. No, no, it's just, it's just you know, uh, I think it's one of those things like... Uh, it's the same as anything. I don't intentionally do it, do you know what I mean? No. I'm not sitting here going, what face shall I pull today? It's just when you get... It feels weird for me to not pull any face when I'm yeah. playing. <laughs> I just end up smiling instead, but like... I've got think... a friend that does that. It's plays like that. Yeah. Is he a serial killer? No. Okay. He does uh, play a Les Paul as well. Oh, he's a serial killer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. But he looks like that when he plays. Um, it's concentration face. But that's the thing. For me... about emotion. For me, it's... Um, I can't play with Stank if I don't have the face. Like, if you have this leg, just this basic leg. Or this basic leg. If you just go... Right? If I play that with no Stank... Stank? Yeah. Right. Stank. Do you know, I'm gonna, I might have to put this in its own little video. We've been talking about your face for about five minutes now. It's definitely not five minutes. Time <laughs> management, Mark. That's why you're always late. <laughs> okay, so let's... We've played the 50s and 60s. Ow. Play the... Um, dad, Dad, Dad. Play the 2019. Dad, Mark's <laughs> bullying me again. Play the 2019. Right. And we'll see what that sounds like. It's, it's quite heavy. Oh my god! This one's lightweight <laughs> relief. Oh, it is. It is lightweight relieved. Um, I am so relieved. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tune it. Wow. So this is the 2019 uh, standard. So we've just heard the other two. Let's have a listen. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, all right. I'll play then.
Yeah, I mean, it's still an unbelievably great sounding and playing guitar. Yeah. Um, it just, you know, if you want all of that coil tapping stuff, then you have to pay for it, but you can get the modern now. So it kind of, it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, do I get, do I get a 2019 model with all the coil tapping, the lightweight reliefing, the asymmetrical profile neck, uh, it's still slim, the locking tuners and all that sort of stuff, or do I buy one of the new ones, one of the new models? Are the, is, are the new models weight relieved, locking tuners? They've got all the new... They've got all the bits and pieces that you yeah. need that, that come from, you know, that sort of, this ilk, this sort of... But in years section. to come, we, all may look, we may look back at the 2018-19 range, and, you know, there might be like a rare unique pieces yeah you never know um that's this wild you know couple of years that they had yeah exactly years, yeah exactly um however, however you want to look at it really um they're all pretty damn good guitars it's just that the new ones the new standard range is really bloody good and negan's running the show negan's running the show it's two thousand pounds one nine 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 sounds better when you say that sounds that's more how affordable. retail works. Yeah, it sounds more affordable, right? Yeah. 1999. Yeah. 1 no 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 no. 999. Nine, nine. So that's it. <laughs> you make me giggle, sir. Um, I think that's it. Let's um, we're going to do videos on we're going to compare um, loads of the Gibson, the new Gibson range against the old stuff. So, should we crack on and do another one? Yeah, cool. Sweet. I've been Mark. My name's Joss. And this has been the Gak show. From the beginning. Oh, I didn't notice. I couldn't see much because they're Tom's prescriptions. Uh, <laughs> so I was kind of going on like a, that once again, the stand. Then, yeah. Wow! <laughs>